Okay, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Flora. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Enjoy. Good, good. Ready to start another course. Four more weeks to go. Huh? <laughs> okay. Good, good. Iris, how are you, Iris? I am fine, thanks, teacher. Okay. You? Good, good. Waiting for the rest of the class. Okay. Welcome. Okay, now we have uh, Robert. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Fine, and you? Okay, good. Excellent. Happy and waiting. Okay, what? let's see. Happy, happy. Oh. Happy and waiting for the students. Waiting for the rest of the class. Okay, we also have Delmi. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, Delmi. Okay, let me check. I don't know how many people will log in today. This is pre-intermediate one, right? Yes. Okay, so we have Okay. Five people. Okay, good. All right, so we have... Okay, before we start, uh, there are some things that we need to, to talk about, right? What are, your, what are some of your expectations? What are some things that you... Some extra things? That, well, you, you, you know the platform, you know that there are a lot of gram, there are grammar things, vocabulary, okay? But what is something else that you think uh, you need, you know, to, to practice and, and learn English? Probably not faster, but, you know, in a better way, okay? What are some opinions? You can... If you cannot say it in English, you can you can say some things in Spanish. Me voy a dar permiso que hable en inglés un minuto. No, no. Okay. Eh, pero pueden expresarse, right? No problem. Just eh, expectativas that you have, things, cosas que le gustaría, right? And stuff. Opinions. Okay. Feel free. Siéntanse en confianza, right? No problem. Okay, good night. My no. name is Brenda, Brenda Sandoval. Right, eh, bueno, mis, mis expectativas son eh, poder aprender más lo que es vocabulario eh, y a poder hacer más oraciones y diálogos en inglés, ponerlo en práctica lo que he aprendido y a la vez poder conocer más, ampliarme en el vocabulario, en la pronunciación, que es lo que siento que me cuesta todavía. Okay. 
Thank you. Good. Thank you very much. Nice, okay. nice input. Yes. Okay. The about the pronunciation, no se preocupen, no tengan pena de equivocarse, right? Esa es una de las mejores formas de aprender. Es, es aquí en esta, digamos, en esta plataforma, dentro de este video, nos podemos equivocar, right? Ya afuera no, porque entonces ahí se nos van a, se nos van a caer viendo raros, ¿ok? Pero acá esa es la idea, ¿no? De que, de que practiquemos y, y para eso estamos acá, ¿no? Para ustedes, para aprender y yo para ayudarles a orientarlos en todo lo que pueda. No problem. Thank you very much. No, thank you. ¿Ok? What else? What else? What else? ¿Qué más? What else? Good evening. Hello. My name is... Flor Matute, pues yo igual espero aprender más vocabulario, me gustaría tener más fluidez a la hora de, de hablar, porque se escucha bien bonito cuando alguien habla bastante bien el inglés, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Poder eh, entenderlo también a la hora de leer, porque a veces hay palabras que no entiendo y que quizás a veces es lo que le da sentido a la oración o al párrafo que a veces está leyendo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces me gustaría, pues, Aprender más también a, a leer y lo que es la pronunciación también, a pronunciar bien las palabras. Ok. Entonces, ahí tenemos eh, lectura mecánica, right? Mechanical reading. Para, eh, y ahí se aprende vocabulario y pronunciación, right? Y luego se hace la comprehensive reading para tener mejor, una mejor comprensión, ok? Pero la clave es, se van a ir dando cuenta que es el vocabulario, right? Because eh, a veces ustedes tienen la idea, la estructura de cómo decir algo, pero es, es, uno se bloquea cuando no encuentra la palabra, ¿ok? Y ahí ya, no sé cómo decir tal cosa, pero sí se tiene la idea, right? So that's one thing. So vocabulary is important. Ok, ¿quién más? Good evening, teacher. Hello, Robert. My name is Roberto Quijano. Ok. Eh, mis expectativas es este... Siempre en el inglés lo que se necesita quizás vocabulario, pero también práctica en cuanto a poder estar conversando con los demás compañeros. Este, uh -huh. eh, porque eso es lo que, lo que me gustaría a mí funda, eh, fomentar en mí, eh, poder estar hablando con los compañeros para practicar, porque a otra hora es bien difícil. Yes. ¿Verdad? That's ¿verdad? True. Eso. Muchas gracias. Ok, la práctica. Ok, perfecto. Eh, good, good, good. Eh, Iris. Yeah, good evening. Eh, mi nombre es Iris Herrera y pues concuerdo con, con los compañeros. Considero que se necesita vocabulario. Me necesito mejorar mi pronunciación eh, y la práctica porque realmente um, yo he estudiado inglés en otras ocasiones, pero siempre me da como que miedo hablarlo. Uh -huh. Soy muy como cohibida para hablar el, el inglés. A veces, como usted dice, puedo tener la idea, pero no sé expresarme. Uh -huh. Ok, pero hay que, hay que aventarse, no hay que tener... Eh, lo bueno es tener a alguien que lo oriente a uno. A veces si uno eh, dice algo, pero si no hay quien le, que le dé un feedback, okay, una retroalimentación, uno se queda con, no sé si lo dije bien o qué, right Pero en este caso aquí sí podemos hacer eso, right So we have, we have the chance. Okay, good. Can you tell me? Good evening. My Hello. name is Dan Franza. Mis expectativas. Eh, vocabulario, aprender más vocabulario. Okay. Eh, la pronunciación. Y aparte, eh, cuando alguien está hablando, como que eh, escucharlo. Se escucha bien bonito la fluidez, uh -huh. pero también como que me cuesta un poquito más entenderlo. Ok. Perfecto. Ahora, eso de entender a veces es que yo tengo unas, tengo una duda. Ok. Because uh, eh, a veces no es que uno no entienda, porque a veces lo que, lo que sucede es que estamos pensando todavía en español. Por lo menos desde mi experiencia, lo que he visto es que muchas veces vamos traduciendo al mismo tiempo que vamos escuchando cuando estamos aprendiendo, ¿verdad? Entonces, Ajá, exacto. Uno escucha a alguien, entonces como que va queriendo traducir lo que está diciendo, entonces se va quedando uno atrás y ya no sé, y ya no sé cómo es que se llama, después cuesta como que ponerse al día y, y ya después dice, ah, no entiendo. 
pero uh -huh. es a veces el pensar, a veces el pensar en el idioma, eso es lo que hay que irse uh -huh. acostumbrando. Porque si alguien les dice a ustedes, how are you? A ustedes inmediatamente responden, fine. Porque es una expresión que la venimos viendo de, ya es milenaria. <risa> Desde que estábamos en tercer ciclo, en primaria, entonces venimos a escuchar, o sea, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, okay, what do you do? Hay expresiones que ya son automáticas. Entonces, así tiene que ser el inglés, right? Que no, lo, no tengamos que traducirlo. Pero a veces hay palabras que se unen igual que el español, right? En español a veces decimos, eh, espéreme. Entonces, espéreme, voy a ver. Entonces, espéreme, voy a ver, lleva, implica para un extranjero mucho, ¿ok? Permítame, voy a ir a ver, ¿ok? Pero para nosotros es normal en español. Ahora imagínense a un, a un gringo queriendo entender que el espéreme, voy a ver, ¿ok? O descifrarlo, ¿verdad? Right? So es, <ríe> no, no le va a ser tan fácil, ¿ok? Y, eh, and we use it, in, en, en inglés también lo tiene, porque dice, I'm gonna go. Cuando dice, I'm going to go see, es voy a ver. Lo correcto es, I'm going to go and see. Ok, I'm going to go see. I'm going to tell you something. Voy a decir, voy a decirte algo. ¿eh? Voy a decirte algo. Sí, voy a decir, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. Entonces, esas cositas hay que irlas aprendiendo. Ok. En inglés, que las diferentes formas de decir las cosas. Right? El wanna. Have you heard wanna? What is wanna? I wanna be. ¿Quién ha escuchado I wanna be a doctor? Ah, lo correcto would be I want to be a doctor. But some, a veces you say I wanna. I wanna go. Ok, quiero ir. I wanna go. I want to stay. I wanna stay. Ok, hay formas más como relajadas de pronunciar en inglés. Entonces, yo creo que por ahí va la cuestión de si entendemos o no entendemos, right? O sea, de ir decodificando and thinking in English, okay? Thinking in English is very important. Teacher, yes. disculpe una cuestión. Mm -hmm. Entonces, no es correcto estar traduciendo, sino solo escuchar inglés, inglés, aunque uno no entiende directamente qué están diciendo, qué se refieren. Exacto. Exacto. O sea, no es que a veces no entienda, sino que a veces... Eh, digamos que uno va agarrando como la idea principal de lo que se quiere, de lo que tal vez no entiende, es como cuando uno va a ver una película, incluso en español, al final usted de la película y si alguien le pregunta, mira, ¿y la peli película de qué se trata? Le dicen, uno va a decir las ideas principales, pero no, no es posible que recordemos en detalle los diálogos y todo eso, a menos que haya sido una, una parte que es de la, como que la más... Eh, digamos, emocionante de una película o que le impactaron más a uno, la va a recordar más. Entonces, por ejemplo, en los ejercicios de listening le dan a uno tareas específicas. Ok, eh, escuche los nombres, escuche lo que hacen, escuche quién hizo tal cosa, ok. La idea es enfocarse en algo, ok. Lo mismo hace uno cuando uno ve una película. O sea, ir nada más a captar. Porque eso pasa cuando uno ve la película en inglés, a los cinco minutos de estar viendo una película en inglés, inglés, Ah, dice uno, lo cambia español y ya, tranquilo. El cerebro tiene un comfort zone, una zona de confort. Y al cerebro hay que sacarlo de ahí. Porque el cerebro, nuestro, nuestro cerebro es muy, muy inteligente, muy, muy, digamos, muy poderoso en ese sentido. De, puede hacer todo eso. Lo que pasa es que nosotros buscamos siempre lo más fácil. O sea, nuestro, nos hace buscar lo más fácil. Que lo más fácil es a veces poner uh, película en inglés... Subtitulada en español, película en inglés, pero ya no, ya se pierde el objetivo porque uno empieza a leer y ya no, ya no escucha. Tal vez puede funcionar ponerla en inglés la película y las letras en inglés, los captions. ¿Qué okay, es captions? Aunque uno va a ir entendiendo solo por las imágenes, porque de otra forma no se sabe. Exactamente, right? Porque a veces así sucede, a veces muchas veces uno entiende también no solo por el hablar, sino que también por la imagen, pero el subconsciente y el cerebro va funcionando y lo va haciendo pensar a uno en inglés. ¿Ok? That's the idea. Oh, yeah. Hay que, como le digo, es un poquito de forzar, right? Your, our brain to think in English. Uh -huh. Pero okay. la mejor forma es esa. O sea, traducir todo el tiempo. Yo creo que sí se aprende, pero lleva mucho más tiempo. Es más lento el proceso. Right? Yeah. Because, and you need a lot of memory. You have to memorize many things. ¿Ok? Ok, thanks. No problem. ¿Ok? 
Pero aquí vamos a ir viendo, ¿ok? Cualquier cosa, cualquier pregunta que tengan, no se queden con las dudas. Esa es otra, digamos, otro tip. ¿Ok? Preguntas de lo que vayan viendo, aclárenla, que hasta que les quede bien claro el uso de una palabra, el uso de una eh, oración o una estructura gramatical, you ask, ¿ok? No problem. ¿Ok? Eh, ok. Lo último es, que les voy a decir nada más, eso sí es un anuncio de administración, que vamos a tener clases desde ahorita hasta el 17. 17 de, de diciembre. O sea que siempre completamos 16, 16 horas clase. Pero como comenzamos ahora, entonces esta semana vamos a tener Miércoles, jueves y viernes. ¿Ok? En la otra semana vamos a tener los cinco días. Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves y viernes. Y ahí ya complementamos los ocho días de las dos semanas. Y con los dos viernes que estudiemos, se completan lunes y martes de esta semana. ¿Ok? Las últimas dos semanas, ahí sí vamos a hacer solamente de lunes a jueves. ¿Ok? Yo les voy a ir recordando, pero sí ya de, de, de ya les digo que estos, por lo menos estos dos fines de semana, estas dos semanas, no vamos a poder salir el viernes de la noche. Ok. Nos quedamos estudiando. Ok. Ok. Eh, tal vez no está dentro de, ya, dentro de dos semanas. Les doy permiso en la tercera. Right. Teacher. Okay. Ajá. Eh, yes, Delvin. Tomorrow is, tomorrow, for me, no is possible. Um, Estar en clase. To, to be in class, to be in class. Ah, okay. Yes, because it's Thanksgiving and I ah, okay. special dinner with my family. No problem, okay? Yes, sure. Uh, remember that, uh, that you can see the video of the class in the morning, the next day, right? Because uh, I, I upload, I upload the videos at 10 o'clock. After this class, I have another class. And then when I finish my second class, then I put the videos in YouTube, okay? Uh, okay. And then you got uh, in the, at, after 11 p.m., you can watch the video or, to, or in the morning, right? Okay. Uh, the, the next day, anytime that you want, you can see the video, see probably some explanations, and don't forget to work on the platform, okay? Esto es otra cosa que me dijeron, que la plataforma debe estar ya en el 17. Que ahí les aparece que el cierre es como el 20, creo, unos días después. Pero eso es para cuestiones administrativas con Insafor. ¿Ok? Entonces, este, procuren ir al día. Si tienen dudas mañana, por ejemplo, de algunos eh, ejercicios de la plataforma, me pueden preguntar y, y, y la resolvemos en el momento también de la clase. ¿Okay? Ustedes pueden ir también a su ritmo, ¿ok? Y haciendo preguntas de lo que vayan viendo ahí. Dice, para el enlace, para entrar a la plataforma, todavía no lo han enviado directamente, ¿verdad? Eh, pues, Porque a mí se lo ha sí. caído para la reunión, pero el otro se me ha caído todavía para entrar a la plataforma. Tengo entendido que sí, ya se los mandaron. Sí, ya lo mandaron. Pero, Voy a volver a revisar dejen, entonces, porque no sí. lo tengo. Eh, creo que, let me see, let me see, videoconference, Whatsapp. Sí, para la plataforma no lo tengo acá, pero sí tengo, le voy a poner ahí. Que es para la... This is for... This is for the playlist. Ah, ok, ya voy a revisar. Ok, en este playlist, en este link that I'm going to put right now here in the, in the chat. Is your your access to see the the videos tomorrow and the following days, right? In that link, uh -huh. you click on that link and you will find the the playlist of videos, right? In this moment, is is in blank, okay? But tomorrow you are going to have this video the, of this class is going to be in that link, okay? Uh, let me see another one that I have is. Uh, are you in the WhatsApp group? Everybody? Yes. Okay, good. And 
in this uh, link this link is to join okay with the second link you join mm -hmm. the whatsapp group okay it's important to be also in the whatsapp group because if you have questions then also you can contact me during the day in that link okay and the last thing is my name right my name is luis avellan okay there you go and then you can you can call me luis no problem okay okay then a uh, any questions questions about administrative things no no problem good then let's begin with the class we're going to start with the first topic and in the first topic we have please call me beth okay this is you know when when you first meet a person and then, then I say, oh, hello, my name is Luis Avellan, nice to meet you. Okay, oh, hello, Mr. Avellan. And I say, no, no, please call me Luis. Okay. Or oh, then you say, hello, my name is Iris Herrera. Oh, hello, Mrs. Herrera. Oh, no, please call me Iris, right? Or Iris, if you want. Okay, so then this is the, the title, okay, the topic, the name of this section please call me Beth, right? And it is, can you please read this objective here? In this lesson. Yeah. In this lesson, participant will learn how to introduce introduce themselves themselves and others by listening listening listen to a conversation between two people who use me and are introducing introducing, introducing each, each other each other each other, each other. Mm -hmm. okay this is one thing right for example each other say each other mutuamente repeat no repeat each other oh each other each other each other okay that's correct okay brenda say each other in this lesson participate no just, just the, la the last word each other uh Repeat each other. Each other. Uh -huh. Okay, each other. Each okay, other. each other. Yes. Uh, Robert. Yes, teacher. Say it. Repeat this word. Each other. Each other. Each other. Each other. Okay, tell me. Each other. Okay, Carmina. Each other. Each other. Okay, four. Each other. Each other. Orlando? Each other. Each other. Okay. Delmi? Uh, Each other. Each other. Okay. Billy Vega? Hello, Billy. Okay. Probably. It's got a problem, maybe. Okay, so then we have each other is, uh, when you put these two words, the idea is, don't say each other, okay? No, each other. Okay, this is what I was telling you, each other. Okay, the pronunciation has to be, you know, relaxed, each other. But not too tense, right? Each other, each other, each other, okay? This is one way to get more fluency. Each other. Then, when you see this, it says, uh, for example, conversation between two people introducing themselves. 
Okay, they say here, for example, what are you from? Okay, and let's say, Brenda, where are you from originally? Where are you from? Eh, leo, leo la conversación, o me está preguntando a mí, perdón. Yes, uh -huh. personal yes. question, uh, where are you uh, from? Uh, I'm from East Metapan. I am from Metapan, right? I am from... Then you can use the contraction, I'm from. I'm from Metapan. I'm from Metapan. Okay, good. Uh, how many How many of you were in the same group in the last course? Were you in the same course? Estaban todos en el mismo curso el mes pasado? No. no. No, nadie. No, eh, Alguno. Algunos. Who? Eh, Brenda, who was in the group? Roberto? No. No. Okay. Eh, con Bill, sí. Okay, Billy, yes. Yes. Okay, Brenda and Billy, who else? Delmi? Con Brenda. Oh, so and Brenda, okay, Brenda, Delmi, and Billy. Okay, good. And Flor? Con Iris y con Roberto. Iris and Roberto. Iris and Roberto. Okay, good. And Carmina? Eh, con ellos. Con all of them? Con Billy? Con los segundos. Ah, okay, yes, Flor and Robert. Okay. In Orlando? Who were your partners, Orlando? Yes, tell me. Con Brenda y Billy. Okay, Brenda and Billy. Okay, good. All right, so then now, for example, you have an idea, right? That, for example, uh, Brenda is from Metapan. Okay, where is Brenda from? She is from Metapan. Okay. And Flor, where are you from? I am from Metapan too. Okay, I'm from Metapan too. Good. Yes, sir. Yes, Orlando. Everybody, I'm um, from Metapan. Oh, really? No. You are from Metapan, Orlando, yes. Everybody, everybody. Okay. Roberto, you too? Yes. It, okay. Wow, I am Delmi. From Metapan. Delmi, Metapan. Yes. Carmina from Metapan. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, so this is a class for Metapan. <laughs> okay, excellent. Okay, good. Then uh, what you're gonna do is this. Okay, for example, my name is Luis Avellan. Okay, I am from El, uh, I am from San Salvador. Okay, I am an English teacher. Okay, uh, I live in Lourdes, okay, and I am married, okay, five sentences, okay, now, you introduce yourselves, okay, pongan atención a lo que los demás dicen porque después les voy a preguntar de los demás, right, okay, let, let's begin with Brenda, your name, your origin, your profession, uh, uh, where you live, and marital status. My profession is yeah, licensed begin, to... Begin, begin with your name. My name is... My name, my name is profession. No, uh, my, my name is Brenda. Okay. Um, uh, pardon. My name is Brenda. I'm from Metapan. It's okay. profession and uh, licenciatura in education popular. Okay, so I'm a teacher. You say you are a teacher, right? Okay, teacher. In okay. English, yes, teacher. Yeah, okay. okay. Because teacher. You tengo licenciatura de idioma, but I'm a teacher, right? Because yeah. uh, you can say a BA, a BA in education, como una licenciatura, es un bachelor in arts, BA uh, in education, okay? That could yeah, be. Okay. Oh, okay, and where do you live? Where do you live? Uh, what? Where do you live? Where do you live? 
Okay. In Metapan, okay. but in what neighborhood? Hey, Santa Ana. Santa Ana. Okay, good. Yes. And then, Flor, give us your information. Okay. My name is Flor Matute. I am from Metapan. I am travel agency. I live in Metapan and I am single. Okay, very good. So you work in a travel agency. Good. Yes. It is. Uh, my name is Iris Herrera. I am from Metapan. Uh, my profession is bushing administration. Business. I am. So you are a business uh, manager. Business. You are a manager? No. Administración de empresas. Yes. Uh -huh. Business. Bin, uh, let's say a uh, business and management. Uh, business. Huh? And management. And management. Management. Okay. Mm -hmm. I am Mary and I live in Metapan. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Next. Orlando. Good, good evening, everybody. My name is Orlan. I am professional accounting. I live in Metapan. Uh, my situation is married. Okay, so you are married. Okay, good. Robert? Okay, let's wait for Robert when he comes back. What? what? Okay, yes. Can you intro give us your personal information? Okay, hi everybody. My name is Roberto Quijano. Um, I am from Metapan. I am a lawyer. Um, okay. I marry and I live in Metapan, Department of Santa Ana. Santa Ana. Okay, very good. Excellent. Tell me. Hello, my name is Delmi Carranza. I am from Metapan. I am professional secretary. I am live Colonia Guadalupe Metapan. Okay. I am sing, singer. Sing, single. 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 Okay, single. Good. Single. Thank you, Delmi. Carmina, how about you? Yes, Carmina. <laughs> okay, probably in this moment she's she's having some problems. Okay, okay, good. If you see, this is how to give information about yourself. Okay, and if I say, uh, for example, where is Brenda from? The answer she, would be, uh -huh. she's from Metapan. She's Metapan. from Metapan, right? Now, uh, is Brenda a doctor? No, no, she isn't. She is a teacher. Mm -hmm. She is a teacher, right? No, she isn't. She is a teacher. Okay, very good, excellent. Uh, let's see, uh, is Floor is Floor married? No, she is a singer. No, she isn't. Oh, no. You no. can say two forms. No, she's not. She's single. Oh, no, she's single. Very good. Uh, is uh, Robert, um, is Robert a teacher? No. No, he isn't. He's a liar. Okay. Lawyer or liar? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, lawyer, right? Okay, so it's very similar, but not it's different. Okay, lawyer, very good. Okay, um, let's see. Is uh, who else? Oh, is Delmi? Is Delmi married? No, no. she's not. She no, is secretary. Not. She is uh, married. Secret married. Is she married? No. She's single. She uh -huh. single. She yes, that's correct. No, she's single. Okay, she's single. Okay, uh, is Carmina from Usulután? No. 
She's not. She's mm -hmm. from Metapan. She's from? Metapan. She's from Metapan, right? Okay, very good. Uh, who else? Let me see what else can we ask. Uh, okay, here, let's see. Does Robert, no, Robert, no, now we have Orlando. Where is Orlando? Okay, does Orlando live in Santa Ana? Does Orlando live in Santa Ana? No, it's not. No, he, he doesn't. In okay, no. no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Uh -huh. He lives in Metapan. He lives in Metapan. Okay. So you see, in this one, we have practiced. Uh, we have practiced the verb to be and the verb to do with personal information. Okay. So you see, you are you understand, and then you can speak, right? So no problem. Okay. In this moment, now let's see the. Listen, now listen to the conversation. Pay attention to. Siempre que les pongan algo, pongan. Pay intonation. Okay, the intonation. The pronunciation. Okay, and new vocabulary. Okay, three things. Pronunciation, intonation, and new vocabulary. Si hay una pregunta, palabra que le gusta y no la escucharon bien la pronunciación, me preguntan, right? And then we can practice it. Okay, listen. Hello everyone, welcome to the pre-intermediate course. This is section one, please. Can you hear? No problem? It's called oh. Beth. In this lesson, participants will learn how to introduce themselves and others by listening to a conversation between two people who just met and are introducing each other. Hi everyone, welcome to this class. We will learn how to introduce ourselves and others. For you to learn how to do so, you need to listen to the following audio program. Remember that you may listen to the audio as many times as you need to, and don't forget to practice it as well. Let's pay attention. Hello, I'm David Garza. I'm a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Okay, where are you from, Beth? Brazil. How about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thanks. So is Brazil. Oh, good. Sun He is here. Who's Sun He? She's my classmate. We're in the same math class. Where's she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again? Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G-A-R-Z-A. Hello everyone, welcome to the pre-intermediate course. This is section one. Please call me Beth. In this lesson, participants will learn how to introduce themselves and others by listening to a conversation between two people who just met and are introducing each other. Hi everyone, welcome to this class. We'll learn how to introduce ourselves and others. For you to learn how to do so, you need to listen to the following audio program. Remember that you may listen to the audio as many times as you need to and don't forget to practice it as well. Okay, questions about vocabulary, pronunciation, something new. No problem? No problem, teacher. Okay, good. If you have a question, don't forget to ask me. Okay, now, Brenda. You are going to be David and Flor, you are going to be Beth, okay? Eh, van a leer la conversación, la conversación, pero después de escucharla esta segunda vez, okay? Now listen, and after, you are going to read it, okay? Let's pay attention. Hello, I'm David Garza. I'm a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva. But please call me Beth. Okay. Where are you from, Beth? Brazil. How about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thanks. So is Brazil. Oh, good. Sun He is here. Who's Sun He? She's my classmate. We're in the same math class. Where's she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. 
Sorry, what's your last name again? Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G-A-R-Z-A. All right. Now... Club member. Hi, my name... Okay, now you read it. I listen. Okay. Uh, hello. I am David Garcia. I, I am a Navy club, club member. Club member. Mm -hmm. club member. Club member. Hi, my name. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva. But please call me Bert. Okay, where are you from, Bert? Brazil. How about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thank you. So it's Brazil. Oh, good. So he is here. Uh, who saw her? She's my classmate. We are in the same math class. Where is she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what is your last name again? Garcia? Actually, is Garcia. Okay. How do you spell that? G-A-R-C-A. -A. Very good. Okay, good. Now, questions? Okay, this is one, uh, this is an, one way that you can do the practice when you are alone or with your cell phone, right? So you, you take your cell phone and you can record it. Okay, you can record your voice. Okay, leen la conversación en voz alta, lo graban, and then you listen to yourself, okay? This is to practice pronunciation y eso da fluency too, right? Remember that we need to change the, the points of articulation, right? Good, uh, it is. You are David and Robert, no, Robert, you are David, and okay. it is you are Beth, okay? Hello, I am David Garza. I am here club member. And you? And you. Hi. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please you call me Beth. Okay, where are you from, Beth? Brazil, who about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thank So is Brazil. Oh, good. Soon he is here. Who soon he? She is my classmate. With, um, we're in the uh, say math class. We're in the same math class. Mm -hmm. Where is she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry. What's your last name again? Garcia? Actuality is Garza. Who did you spell that? G A R C C A. Z A. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, good. Now, uh, let's see who else we have. Delmi. Delmi, you are Beth. And Orlando, you are David. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> you begin, Orlando. Okay, excuse me. Hello, I am I am David Garcia. I am a, a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva. But please call me Beth. Beth. Okay, where are you from, Beth? Brazil. How are you? I am from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's okay. really beautiful. So in Brazil? 
Oh, good. Soon he is her. her. Who's son he? Mm -hmm. She's my classmate. She's my classmate. Her in the sun much Where class. Where is she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again? Garcia? Actually, it is Garza. How do you speak that? G-E-R-C-I. Okay, G-A-R-Z-A. Okay, eh, hay una expresión que dice, who is son he, okay? Who's son he? And then the next one, Beth says, she's my, class, she's my classmate. We're in the same math class. We're in the same math class. Okay, so this expression is, uh, let's say, same math, same math, same math class. Okay, good. Carmina, can you read the part of Beth? Hello, Carmina. Okay, she's the only one missing now. All right. Then, uh, let's see, no questions then? No problem in this moment. Okay, let's see. Garza. How do you spell that? G-A-R-Z-A. -A. All right. Then look at the... We have some exercises here. And now, uh, Flora, can you please read the objective in the 1.2 by the end of this lesson? <clears throat> okay. Hey, teacher. By the end of this lesson, participant will be my your in order to introduce their names and to express possessions. Okay. So then this is adjectives. My, your, his, her, its, our, and their. Right? Uh, remember that when you say my name, my car. Okay. Por eso le llaman possessive adjectives. Porque van adelante de un sustantivo. Okay. My car my book, my school, my class, my notebook, your notebook, your glasses, your, your house, his book, his, uh, his pencil, okay? Always before a noun. And then uh, here we have another video explaining this, okay? Now listen. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use possessive adjectives. My, your, his, her, its, our, their. Today, we will go over the possessive adjectives. Let's listen and look at the chart. Statements with B. Possessive adjectives. Statements with B. I'm from Mexico. You're from Brazil. He's from Japan. She's a new club member. It's an exciting city. We're in the same class. They're my classmates. Contractions of B. I'm equals I am. Your equals you are. He's equals he is. She's equals she is. It's equals it is. We're equals we are. They're equals they are. Possessive adjectives. My. Your. His. Her. It's. Our. Their. 
I want you to pay attention to the possessives. In English, each person has its own possessive. So remember, I, my, you, your, he, his, she, her, it, its, we, our, they, their. For example, we say, my family, his mother, her car, our brother, and so on. I'm equal. They're my classmates. Okay. Questions? Okay. Here we have two things. Okay. They say statements or sentences with B. Okay. Possessive adjectives. Okay. Más adelante van a ver unos que se llaman possessive pronouns. Que se dice uh, mine, hers, his, ours, que terminan con S, right? Pero ahorita vamos a ver possessive uh -huh. adjectives, okay? Good. Then it says, I'm from Mexico. Sorry, because. Mexico, one... sorry, one more time. Mexico, officially the United Mexican States. What do you it's my cell phone activated, <laughs> sorry. Okay, then uh, you say, I'm from Mexico. Then the contraction of I'm, you say, I'm, I am. You're from Brazil, you're, you are. He's from Japan, his, his. She's a new club member, she's, she is. Okay, it's an exciting city. It's and it is. Then we're in the same class. Where we're and we are. They're my classmates. There they are. Then this is the pronoun, subject pronoun, personal pronoun. Okay, and this is a possessive adjective. If I say, I have a house, my house is white, my house is in lower this, my house is small, okay, my house is uh, hot, okay, so you can use a I and my, your, your, his, then we use his for third person, his for a third person, for men, hair for women, it's for objects or animals, okay? I have a cell phone, but it's a screen, okay? So pantalla, right? It's broken, okay? So we're talking about the screen of the cell phone, so it's, then, uh, no it is, okay? It's not it is, okay? It's different. A we're is our, okay? Our class begins at eight o'clock. Then there is the possessive for a group of people in third person. Okay, remember this. This is I first person, you second person, he, she, it, third, third person singular, okay? We is first person plural because it's you and I, okay? Then, and the second one is there. They are is he, she, it together. There is the third person plural, okay? Because only Robert is he, and only it is is she, but Robert and it is is they in plural third person, okay? And these are the possessives. Then the other thing that we need to remember is this. I, my, your, your, his, his, she, her, it, its, we, our, and their, and their. They, their. My family, his mother, her car, our brother, and so on, okay? Sometimes it is 
el concepto es, es easy, right? But when we use it, sometimes we confuse his and her. Yes. ¿Cuáles son los que ustedes confunden? When you speak. Her and his or in she and his. And he, ¿verdad? Right. El his y her, porque nosotros en español, ¿qué tenemos? Su. Yo digo, Flor, ¿cuál es su nombre? Ok, Robert, ¿cuál es su nombre? El su is the same in English. Right? In English, eh, eh, in Spanish. In English you say, Flor, what's your name? Ok, her name is Flor. Robert, what's your name? Robert, uh, Robert Quijano. Ah, ok, his name is Robert. But in Spanish, todos esos your, his, his, her, is su. Ok. Creo que van a ver en películas mexicanas que es su mamacita suya de usted. Right? Because they use, they don't get confused. Porque si yo digo su mamá, ¿su mamá de quién? Pregúntele a su mamá. Ok, si lo digo así en general, in this group, pregúntele a su papá. Ok, sounds very, very general, right? In Spanish. And then, but if I say, for example, eh, Brenda, ask your father. Brenda, ask your brother. Then it's more specific. Entonces, después yo le puedo decir, you know, Flor, Brenda asked her brother. Brenda le preguntó a su hermano, her brother, su hermano de ella. Right? So in English, you need to give references. Se ocupan mucho las referencias. Y por eso es que se ocupan los pronombres antes. Eh, por ejemplo, en Spanish, sé que conjugar verbos. In English, no. Ok. In English, si yo digo... Eh, eh, ya regresé ¿a quién me refiero? primera persona uh -huh, yo ok, Ay. pero si en, en inglés si digo eh, came back solo digo, solo digo el verbo en pasado no, no identificamos de quién hablo en, en inglés si, dije, si digo por ejemplo ya regresamos en, en español hablo de primera persona plural, right? We. Pero si en inglés vuelvo a decir came back, entonces tengo que decir we came back, I came back, you came back, he came back, especialmente en pasado, porque es el mismo pronombre, el mismo verbo para todos. Ok, I came back, you came back, he came back, she came back, it came back, el, el gato regresó, it came back. Okay, we came back, they came back, okay? So it's everything the same, okay? Por eso es que se hace necesario el uso del, del, del sujeto antes de los verbos, right? Entonces, por eso es que es importante las referencias, right? The reference. I will, uh, for example, I will ask your brother. I will ask his brother. I will ask her brother. Right? Okay, let's see what else we have for today. Okay, and the next one. This is what we're going to have for tomorrow, okay? Nos vamos a quedar ahora acá, because I, I have to go to another class, but a, uh, a study for tomorrow, study the, the verbs, the possessive, uh, possessive adjectives, my, you, his, her. Tomorrow we're going to have oral practice, okay, using all this. If I get some material, cuando consiga material, yo se los pongo en el WhatsApp. Extra, right, for you to practice, okay? And tomorrow we are going to have oral practice in the, in the breakout, room, breakout rooms. Okay, so that you can practice in groups. Okay, people, nice to meet you. And I will see you tomorrow at Thank 8 o'clock. Okay, have a good night. Nice to meet you, teacher. Nice to meet you, too. Good night. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Robert. Nice to meet you, too. Nice to meet you, too.